at the road's end, the wall. These are the people who move along the road. Some walk, some ride. Some are well shod, some are barefoot. Some are so young they must be carried. Some are old. Of the hundreds of millions who take this road, some do so willingly. Others hope that the road leads to bread for the hungry, peace for the weary, land for the landless. Some protest openly, it doesn't matter. Some were born on the road. Many will die along the way. In the beginning, the road exists in the mind of a 19th century philosopher and scholar, Karl Marx, who maintains that only through a system he called communism can the worker and farmer avoid starvation and exploitation. We declare openly, Marx writes, that our ends can only be attained by the forcible overthrow of all existing social conditions. Thus, the road begins. Many who walk the road know its origins well, many do not. Some things must be known about the road by those who do not travel it. This is a one-way street. The signposts along the way do not describe the true destinations, and nearly everyone who sets foot or wheel on this road goes all the way to the end, for there are few exits, only difficult, dangerous escapes.